our beloved Nelson Holishasa Mandela, the founding president of our democratic nation, has departed. Good evening and welcome to The Five. Rarely can it be said that one person has single-handedly changed the course of a nation and of history. Tonight, we say goodbye to that man. Nelson Mandela has died at the age of 95. The march towards freedom and justice is irreversible. It was a promise Nelson Mandela made to his nation, and it was a promise he kept. On July 18, 1918, Rolihala Mandela entered the South Africa torn apart by racial segregation. By the time he was in his 20s, Mandela's revolutionary work had begun, working with the African National Congress in an unwavering quest to dismantle the country's apartheid laws. But his push for democracy, peaceful to that point, was not working. The ANC began orchestrating armed anti-apartheid attacks, even a three-day national workers' strike. By 1964, Mandela was sent to the infamous Robben Island Jail for life on convictions of sabotage and political offenses. He spent decades incarcerated in three separate prisons, becoming a worldwide symbol of the anti-apartheid movement. In the 80s, fierce campaigns to release Mandela from jail. And then the historic moment the world was waiting for, freedom after 27 years. And with each step out of that prison, Mandela marched South Africa closer to its democratic future. I stand here before you, not as a prophet, but as a humble servant of you, the people. Mandela's absolute devotion to abolishing apartheid was recognized internationally, even celebrated with a Nobel Peace Prize. And then, in 1994, he became the first black president of South Africa in that country's first ever democratic election. He used the platform to transition his nation from one of segregation to one of inclusion. I cherish the ideal of a new South Africa where all South Africans are equal. Madiba, as he was known, even brought his vigor and spirit to Toronto on a number of trips, including at Nelson Mandela Park Public School. The visit even brought students to tears. At Skydome, Mandela danced his way into the hearts of tens of thousands as he introduced the world to the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. The people of Canada are on their feet to be counted in fighting all forms of injustice. Join me in welcoming him into our family. He was also the recipient of an honorary Canadian citizenship. But the public appearances and worldwide visits were replaced this year by hospital trips and trepidation as Mandela got older, his health failing. In the past several months, he had been hospitalized several times leaving his nation in constant prayer. And South Africa must now begin a future without their Madiba, while celebrating and fulfilling his everlasting legacy. I therefore, a place, the remaining years of my life, 